in the market A break from the garbage An artist Sensitive about mind Pardon No margin for error Flawless beware The black cat goddess You walking with a panther Painting these pictures With words like Samantha MacGyver Alchemy on the track Make it lava And I won't stop rocking Till I retire Single or a plural She break numero uno Colder than I'm out of money, aka trap, 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 and welcome to the official sort in the game. I'm review of Fat Joe and DJ Dramas. What would Big do 2021? Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's get it now. DJ Drama, he's coming off high off of his project with uh Tyler the Creator. You feel me? Call me if you get lost or whatever have you. <sighs> hey yo. You know, I don't even like to even step into these projects if I fucking know what is about to fucking happen here. Now, let me explain something to you because I'm ever vigilant when it comes down to big. And be it that even on the cover art of this, and you check it out when, when we finish here, what would big do that they had big spelled capital B, lowercase i, lowercase g? that I know that this was not a fucking real thoughtful ass process. Now this project was executive produced by Cool and Dre and I'm gonna let, listen, all right, listen to me. Listen to me really close and really good. Now Fat Joe made this project off of a couple months back, him, the conversation coming up of him and Big had a project together where nothing but shots was being taken at Tupac. And it didn't come out and all of this stuff. And, you know, Fat Joe, f you know, feels like, you know, he, he could squash a lot of things in the industry. He could do all of this. He can do all of that. So he tried to clout chase off of a fucking conversation that had emerged and use big name in a less thoughtful ass way than he could have. All right. I'm gonna show you exactly why he did this right right throughout this shit right here because listen fat joe dj drama cool and dre who didn't even do the production on here they just oversee this shit you feel me and the niggas who did the production on here y'all all you know what i mean fuck all of y'all that's the that's the only way i could really say it fuck fat joe Fuck DJ Drama, fuck Cool and Dre, and fuck the actual producers on this fucking album. Because what you're trying to do here, we're trying to reduce Big into some nigga that only rapped over fucking samples. And Fat Joe, you try to be smooth about it on this whole shit. Like, Big was some big ass fucking lover boy type shit going on here. I cannot respect the layers of people that this shit went through diddy included because the last track on here is called sunshine the light it got rihanna on it all this i ain't blaming nobody i'm not blaming none of the features artists on there because they might not have known what else the fuck was going on as much as i want to but diddy you're in a video with fat joe from a song off of this album and you might not even know me but somebody should have ran this shit past you i don't get this shit that's why i'm happy and I'm glad that all the DSPs took this shit the fuck down. You feel me? No way you was getting away with none of this shit on here. This, uh, the intro featuring CeeLo Green. That was hard. That was hot to me. Okay? I will give them the intro on here. The next track on here is called Michael. I can't help it. Michael Jackson sample. We heard Fabulous do it with the track Baby, Mega Hit. Uh, the chick on there, Nefertiti, Ivani. Great for you to work with Fat Joe. You feel me? Very smooth record. But I'm out. I said, you know what? I see where this is already going. From two tracks in. I see where it was going. So let's get into the next track. The next track is called Honey. Now, that was Jay-Z and R. Kelly's track off of, you feel me, Best of Both Worlds. BG Sample, okay. So I said, you know what? 
I'm going to be real, real clear here and real open-minded as to what's going on because I don't have a problem with Fat Joe as a rapper. I don't. I have a problem with why he would do this in the first fucking place based off of a uh, uh, beef or for two artists that ain't no longer around when you have your own person to lean into into big pun why you ain't make this a what would pun do and you got there start ripping shit i don't get it all right but the next track on here diamonds the prince diamonds and pearls track y'all know good and fucking well prince ain't okay and nobody Prince of State ain't okay and no fucking rappers. Nobody. They barely want people to cover his fucking song. They not okay and nobody to be spitting over fucking diamonds and pearls. And this is where I'm like, listen, we four tracks in off a nine track album. Where was y'all gonna show any originality in this shit? Why y'all trying to reduce him down to fucking just a, a nigga that spit over samples. He was much more than that. Much more than that. So I don't know which one of these songs I thought was gonna click and hit the charts, but and it get it got worse. It got worse. Next track on here, Demon Girl. Uh, he comes off with these little one liners in here. You know, I pop a freaks all 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 the honeys and all of this stuff shit on here. Cool. And hey, yo, I almost fucking freaked out though. I almost fucking freaked out when I heard, I missed the rain down in Africa. I missed the rains down in Africa. Toto, being you a beat, do you think Big would have rapped over that? Like, they whole aesthetic and feel what Big and Puff did, okay? They took hits, but they never fucking rap over none of these white people one hit wonder type shits. I don't understand what the fuck was going on here that y'all thought that that shit was going to fly by. DJ Drama, you screaming all over here. You DJ Drama, I don't know how you could okay this shit. Apparently you in a money fucking grab. You keep over this whole shit calling this shit a master class. A master class in fucking what? A master class in disrespect? How did y'all think this shit was going to fare well? That's why I said, like, yo, I'm happy that most people, one, didn't even hear the shit. Two, it got fucking taken down for copyright because it ain't no fucking way possible. It's no way possible y'all thought that this shit was going to fly. Y'all been in the game too long. Y'all know this shit ain't going to fucking fly. Why come out and do some shit like this and disrespect Big like this? Fat Joe, you're never going to be as smooth as Big. So even the little parts where you trying to be all honeyed up and laid up and shit with bitches, nobody ain't trying to get your motherfucking... <sighs> Dog, I really want to disrespect this nigga and really be like, you know, I don't know who the fuck you thought you was that some bitch want to lay up with somebody listening to you do your fucking worst big impersonation. This shit got me fucking vexed. Next shit on here, fucking babyface whiff of hell, I wrote me a manual. Like, yo, you taking these one-liners and just trying to reduce him down to all of this shit. I don't fucking feel this shit whatsoever. Whatsoever. When you try to do a big album or, like, you put Big's name on something, you're supposed to be extending the legacy of somebody who got taken out the game well before their time. He didn't die in natural causes like pun. He got taken out the game. You understand that? So anything that we do, we're supposed to be extending his legacy. That's why I don't understand all of this motherfucking talks that be around and shit right now. People talking about, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, questionable lyrics and, and, and him being overrated and all of this shit. Hey, yo. Nobody ever said this shit at the time either. Nobody said he was overrated at the fucking time. Everybody was with the shit. Like, I don't, I don't really understand where we feel that a couple of years could come down the line and y'all could just try to, like, like, just smite a legend. Like, try to erase a fucking legend's name. Crazy as hell. That's why I said on Twitter, like, yo, the thought of a route Mount Rushmore doesn't exist. It don't exist because we're too diverse. But it really don't exist because 
Y'all won't let nothing lay in concrete. You don't. Y'all try to be uh, edgy and, 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 you know, um, like timeline terroristic to do these things, disrespecting legends, never. And a lot of the times, too, you don't even know if these people is white, black, or other fucking coming in the community, coming across the community, saying these things. Y'all done conferred with people online for fucking years. You don't even know what they look like, where they from, who they are. And you would champion some shit just for laughs, not knowing that you're cutting your own culture's throat. Cutting your own culture's throat. This is our shit. Ain't nobody can preserve it, save it, or do nothing but, but us. And y'all would let anybody say whatever the fuck about it. Uh, some niggas ain't old enough to speak on it. The ones, the ones that are young, that respect it, can speak on it. Not the ones out here trying to disrespect no legend's name for a fucking laugh. And y'all old fucks would sit there and let that shit go down. No respectable Twitter account should even fucking entertain that type of a uh, 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 thing. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not even gonna hold you. This shit pisses me off. This shit pisses me off. I really, really can't understand how somebody like Fat Joe, DJ Drama, Cool and Dre, and the producers on here, y'all didn't think to like pull back? Y'all didn't think to pull back on this shit? Hey man, I don't think so many samples should be on this, you feel me? I don't think that shit should be like that. And just displayed it in the worst type of fucking way. Like I said, didn't even spell his name, like, in the proper setting, dog. Like, the shit is really, really nuts to me. The shit irritates me so bad. It really does. It really does. Back Outside featuring Remy Ma. Hey, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something right now, right? I don't fuck with Fat Joe as an individual. I respect his musicality and what he brings to the table like that. It's a whole list of reasons why I don't fuck with Fat Joe. One of which, which is what it, what happened to Chris Rivers' pun son. The second of which is how he didn't even let Remy Ma flourish when she came out of jail by putting out her own fucking album. Here he go. He got to be right up underneath somebody's ass to keep himself fucking relevant and put out platinums and plamos or whatever the fuck it mean. I don't like this shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. This shit really, really just irks me that so many people, it was so many layers to stop some shit like this happening and put out something that was really, really, really fucking real and really, really saluted the legend big that you trying to ride off of a fucking conversation that happened in March. A conversation that happened in March about how you and Big was going to do an album together. And it was taking shots at Tupac. And then, you know, what happened to them happened to them. So we got fucking sidelined out. It never came out or any of this that never happened. That you decided to do it your fucking self. You decided to become Big and yourself. And how you became Big was trying to... Uh, be the smooth fat boy type shit and rhyme over fucking samples. Samples you know you can't even fucking use. I don't, I can't deal with no shit like this. This is why I said, yo, you have to watch who we like putting like our eyes on. No matter who they are. No matter who they are, we have to watch who we putting our fucking eyes on. Like dog, this shit right here. Like, hey yo, if something happened to Fat Joe tomorrow, we're not even fucking sad. Because I can't deal with that shit. Like, I really can't deal with somebody who you have your own thing to tie into. What would Pun do 2021? Who better to try to do that shit but his right-hand man, you? Why are you stepping outside of your boundaries and your even fucking comfort zone to do some shit like this and disrespect Prince in the process of this? Like, disrespect the whole culture in the process of this. These niggas some real fuck niggas, dog. Like, I couldn't even imagine sitting in a fucking studio and listening to this bitch sit there and fucking rap over these fucking 
just sample after sample after sample of some shit that y'all know y'all shouldn't be doing. He got little Yachty on the album, all of this shit. Okay, I'm not even mad at the merge or none of that shit, but you really thought that big in 2021 will be rapping over fucking I Miss the Rain Down in Africa? Like, y'all didn't think that was a reach and a stretch? Like, I, I, I feel so offended by this shit. I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments below about um this project. If you heard it, if you haven't heard it, you feel me? You can find it. I think it's still on that piff or whatever, but I'm so fucking happy that they just like, they took that shit off a of title, Apple, all of that shit, because ain't nobody said it was okay for you to do the shit that you fucking did on here. Diddy, I'm real disappointed that you be up here dancing with these niggas, man. Trying to stay motherfucking, uh, trying to stay relevant. You would let that shit slide like that. And maybe you didn't know the rest of this shit was going on in this album. Like, really though. But I cannot fucking deal with that type of shit. I'm about to get out of here though. I'm Meta Money. You can follow me on Twitter and IG at Meta Money Says. That's M-A-D-A-M-M-O-N-E-Y-S-A-Y-S. Dog, don't you ever try to pay homage. Yo, I was talking to somebody and it's like, you know, um, just, just paying fucked up homage. It's like a joke. If you're not going to pay homage in the right way, you can't do it because it comes off as contrived and motherfucking hateful. To be honest with you, it's not, it, I feel like it's beef. You hear me? Because I don't get what's going on. I don't know why any motherfucking artist, especially a fat Joe, would try to clout chase and capitalize off of a situation like that and put out this fucking mediocrity in Big's name. But that was your boy. I'm telling you niggas. I'm flooding the market, a break from the garbage An artist, sensitive about mind and pardon No margin for error, flawless beware The black cat goddess, you walking with a panther Painting these pictures with words like Samantha MacGyver Alchemy on the track, make it live And I won't stop rocking till I retire Singular or plural, she make numero uno Colder than Juno